If you feel like a disappointment to others, read these. Are you regretting your life right now? Feeling like you have been a disappointment to yourself and others? Well, these thoughts are normal in the lives of everyone, but it all depends on how you consider them that will determine how much effect it will have on you. The most important thing is to identify and understand where they have come from so that you can challenge and eventually overcome them. To help you with this, ask yourself these questions. 1. Who are you trying to impress? The number one thing that makes people feel like a disappointment to themselves is the fact that they believe they are less than what they were or others think they should be. But now the question you should ask yourself is, who is supposed to tell you the standards you are to have? Who is supposed to tell you what you should be? No one has the right to tell you what standards you are to live up to unless you are trying to live up to the standard of someone else or the standard of society. It is not too late to change that mindset because if you continue trying to fit into someone else's life, you will continue to feel like a disappointment to yourself. You have to take control of your life and live your life the way you want it to be. Anyone that claims to love you and care for you has every right to wish the best for you, but they do not have the right to decide for you what that best should be. 2. Do you create realistic goals? So many people get disappointed when the reality of the goals they set does not match up to what they had dreamed of. This is a perfectly natural scenario because it will make you feel that you did not work hard enough or that you are not good enough. Even if you were to order a meal based on how great it looked in the picture, and it did not look like that when it was served, you would be disappointed despite the taste. The same applies to when you set unrealistic goals and end up not achieving them. You will be disappointed in yourself, and this might lead you to lose faith in yourself. So, if you always set goals that are beyond your reach, try reducing your standard and set goals that you can easily achieve. 3. Are you tying pride to success? Are you doing things so that you will be praised and given accolades by people? If this is so, then you will be disappointed so many times. If you allow your friends, family, and even the social media to convince you that you are to be praised or accepted, you must do well in certain things. And even social media to convince you that for you to be praised or accepted, you must do well in certain things then you must know that you are preparing yourself for some serious disappointments if you do not get those things or to that level which they have set for you. Now, the big question is, how do you define success? Some people feel it is about having so many expensive things in life, different people have different definitions to it, but everything boils down to standards and values. You can train your mind to see your life as a success in its own right you will recognize that you do have worth and that you are worthy of the acceptance of others. 4. Are you ignoring your God-given abilities? Once you begin to believe in what people approve of and what they disapprove of, it's very easy for your mind to lose its focus. If you feel like a disappointment to yourself or other people, you might be overlooking those things you are doing well at, your God-given abilities. For example, you might be so focused in trying to climb the career ladder that you get disappointed that you are not climbing as fast as some of your contemporaries. Even when you have a loving partner, great friends, you just try to enjoy some hobbies and you keep yourself fit and healthy, your mindset is always negative because of your career. You fail to look at your life from the perspective of other people. You fail to understand that there are people that are wishing to get to that level which you have attained. For you to stop feeling disappointment in your life, you have to appreciate every step of progress in life because it's not easy. 5. Your mindset towards failure. Nobody in this world loves to fail, so it is natural for someone to feel disappointed when they fail. But failure does not mean that it is the end of the world. But it all depends on how you, as an individual, choose to look at it. Some people see it as the end, while some people see it as an opportunity to try again and again until they get what they want. Those people that see failure as the end most times see themselves as a disappointment because they begin to see themselves as having failed in life. They lose their self-confidence and no longer see anything good in themselves. They consider themselves to be failures in the world. 
whereas a person who sees failure as a lesson and an opportunity will not stop but get up and try again and again until he or she gets it right and, believe me, these people get better each time they try and they are never scared of taking new risks because they see every opportunity as an avenue to learn. You have to choose the kind of mindset you want to have towards failure. 6. Are you afraid of being judged? This is another reason why so many people see themselves as a disappointment to themselves and others. They feel that they are not supposed to make mistakes. The world as we see it is always looking for ways to bring down your self-confidence. Always looking for ways to make you feel that you are not good enough for yourself. It is always trying to make you hate yourself and this will work immediately. You allow people to dictate and control your life. When you give people the chance to control your life, you begin to do things to avoid criticism from these people because you do not want to be judged by them. You have to realize that everyone makes mistakes, everyone makes poor choices, and no one is perfect. So you do have to allow yourself to be judged because of errors you have made in life. You ought not to condemn yourself for making some mistakes in life. After all, with time, all mistakes will be forgotten. So why kill yourself over it?